In this episode of The Spring Report, we are breaking down the new P7 Series irons from TaylorMade for 2023. That is the P770, the P7MC, and the P7MB, three irons in that players category that the better golfers out there will be looking at for next year. We've got Cameron with me to break it all down. We'll tell you guys everything that you need to know. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, give this video a like, and you tell us in the comments which of these irons is your favorite. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Cameron Fitzer, Master Club Fitter here at the Minnetonka store location. Uh, an exciting day here, Cameron, yeah. because we've got new tailor-made irons from, for 2023, the yeah. P7 series updated uh, for 2023 because the, this, well, this nomenclature, these names have been out there right. the last couple of years for irons, and they've been successful. Right. Uh, but TaylorMade, of course, they always like to one-up themselves. Absolutely. So that's what they've done with these irons, refined them and tweaked them to give a better product out there for golfers. That's what these are here. Really Definitely. exciting stuff. Definitely. New product day, always fun for us, especially mm -hmm. getting in here and being able to test stuff out, test stuff out see how it mm -hmm. kind of reacts and performs in the fitting bays as right. well. But as you said, not necessarily just redefining the, the iron or going yeah. with something completely different, more so just refinements on, yeah. on what was previously a pretty right. good and lineup think, from TaylorMade. Yeah, and I think, you know, we'll do some testing uh, coming soon where we'll, you know, take like P7MC to the past P7MC yeah. and things like that. But I think initially, as we look at it, we're not gonna see probably a ton of difference right. between, you know, the current one here with 2023 to maybe the past one from mm -hmm. 2020. Uh, but we should talk about some of the tech involved here. Definitely. So, Let's start with P770. Um, this is, you know, the past model I, I remember being as explosive, right. lower spin, kind of like it's kind of bigger brother of the P790. Yep. Um, but they have tweaked a little bit. And yep. I think you mentioned the center of gravity is a big piece that yep. golfers need to take note of with this one. Right, progressive center of gravity. So essentially just building in more playability. Your better players need that control in the short irons. Yep. Typically you want to have that ball flight a little bit flatter where yep. you're not necessarily going to have a ton of influence from wind or, or other variables. Yep. And also having the ability to have lower center of gravity in the longer irons where it's easier to launch, easier to create spin and, and stop those longer irons on, on difficult greens and, and difficult courses as well too. Right, so I think the, the big piece here is gonna be uh, that's, that the progressive center of gravity, right. it is lower in the longer irons. Yep. So kind of a little bit more like launch and forgiveness where it's Definitely. needed there. And then it kind of goes up gradually up on the club head exactly. with the shorter irons, so a little bit more control kind of, and like you said, able to flatten that that trajectory Definitely. if you need it. So that's the big piece there. Also speed foam air. Uh, it's been around, I think the most recent P790 yep. iron was where that was included, but it's just, uh, it's very, uh, it's much less dense than the yep. original speed foam technology. Yep. So a little more explosiveness. Um, and then across the entire face, consistent ball speeds there. Right. Um, but moving in, it's funny because they include P770 with this launch, but then it's yep. really a lot different from the other two. Yeah. P7 MC a fully forged iron, right? Um, obviously also a lot smaller club head. Definitely smaller, definitely smaller. Really, this is getting more into your just ultra players line, mm -hmm. not necessarily the guy who needs a ton of forgiveness. Right. Not saying that 770 is your ultra forgiving iron necessarily. Right. More loft, more traditional loft. Typically, mm -hmm. this is going to be for your player who needs quite a bit of spin, yep. needs stopping power, especially on those, again, tighter courses. Courses where it's harder to hold the greens, firmer yep. greens, definitely going to need something where it's easier to spin and, and easier to stop. Yep. Forged five times for a very tight grain structure, right. progressive offset here, and then this cavity, what they've called it is kind of the perfect amount of forgiveness. So the really good player that maybe is looking for just a little bit of help, perhaps right. in a combo set yep. with these at the top and then the blades at the bottom is where you're gonna get that forgiveness with this cavity here that they've engineered. Right. And then lastly, of course, the P7MB. Yep. Just the classic muscle back. They've yep. done kind of some, um, you know, maybe some modern looking on the back there with right. some kind of some uh, maybe symmetry a little bit, but ultimately this is just a muscle back. Yep. Um, essentially, like you mentioned, kind of the clubs that maybe give golfers performance kind of yep. with the game improvement and player's distance. This is the category where it's not really giving the golfer performance. Right. The golfer has to kind of do that for her. Definitely. So, Again, this one similar to MC, not necessarily a case where it's just a distance contest, trying to hit these things as far as possible. More right. so just playability and fine tuning for the better player, who really finds the center of the face quite often. Right. I think, as you said, the ability to combo set even an MB mm -hmm. and an MC is gonna be nice, where maybe you just need a little more forgiveness on the long irons, whether it be right. four, five, six, or wherever you feel comfortable transitioning from a blade into right. something more of that muscle cavity. Yeah, I think actually that's worth noting that I believe uh, Colin Morcow, one of the best iron players yep. in the world, had been playing 
a He's combo set three. of all three of them yep. in the bag. I think P770 with the three or four iron. Yep. Then kind of those mid irons, P7MC, and then getting down to the shorter irons, you right. go to the blade. So um, that there's the combo set possibility is there, and the way they've engineered the look and the, the feel, yep. you definitely can make that transition pretty smooth. So, Absolutely. Um, with that said, I think it's time to do some, some testing here. So mm -hmm. we've got each one. We'll hit a few shots. Um, with Trackman, um, we should also note too, P770 standard loft is 33 degrees in the seven iron, and yep. then both the others are 34. Yep. So it should see a little bit of some difference there, but of right. course, we talked about the tech and the performance that will also matter as well. So Absolutely. let's hit some shots, let's break down some data, um, and then kind of at the end, of course, as we always do with string reports, we'll tell you who each of these clubs is for. swing yeah interesting that one felt so like directly center of the face there mm -hmm. might turn over just a little bit but a little bit great strike I gotta say that one four zero smash both times is looking kind of nice yeah really good swing yeah it's like the so looking at it at a dress yep. it, it it I'm again I'm playing in I'm currently playing I-210s, I'm obviously in the market for some new irons here in right. 2023. Um, it seems like it falls in really well with the player's kind of cavity category. Yeah. It's probably not like, you know, the blueprint from Ping is right. like really tiny, but right. I think it, it as, a, as an iron with a little bit of a hollow body, yeah. it still is really small. You don't notice it at a dress yeah. at all. I think this is really going to be great for the player who's looking for best of both worlds, where you want some technology, you want yeah. some forgiveness, but you don't necessarily want to look down at something that's big and bulky either. Mm -hmm. And I think it, it really It's kind of that. funny that they're almost creating a new category of iron. Right. Because it has elements of a player's distance, but obviously it's lofted and kind of the overall size is like a player's Absolutely. iron. Absolutely. Yeah, some more playability built into something with some tech as well. Mm-hmm. Really good swing. Just slightly fat, but you know what? It kind of works. The spin didn't really change, which is interesting. Very interesting. Because usually when you kind of hit a fat, that spin drops. Tend to drop down for sure. Height stayed up, spin stayed up. Really, really good on a miss there. Yeah. That's kind of a miss the other way. A little thin. Wow, see, and that very, spin doesn't really move. Very yeah. Interesting. A couple hundred RPMs different off of our just standard. I gotta say that's that's pretty perfect for five shots. You get three good ones, then Absolutely. you get one chunk one. Right, and yeah. your your bad ones are still in play by yeah. all means. If anything, we lost maybe a tiny bit of distance, just not necessarily yep. finding the center of the face. But you're still in play. Direction mm -hmm. is great. Yeah. How does it feel? It feels. I mean, it's the. I got I got some feedback. Some feedback on the misses, but. Mm -hmm. So I'm, what I'm curious now is, I'm, I'm probably just by the way I am, I'm gonna slightly miss you know, the center of the face on the MC and the MB a little bit. Right. I'm curious on the feedback of how that goes. When we do you off. You should yeah. feel a little bit more, I think. Right. Um, but it, you know, I, could, I, could, I could still feel that I hit it off the heel, mm -hmm. or I chunked it, obviously. But it wasn't like, you know, oh my gosh, this is terrible. Right. Um, but yeah, I think I'm, I'm impressed with the consistency, the fact that that spin barely moved Absolutely. after I chunked it and then hit one thin. That's, yeah, the, I mean, really the, the biggest variance we've had from our high number to our yeah. low number is 400 RPMs. Because look at those last reasonable. two, are, the smash is 128 and 132, so clearly yeah. I didn't quite hit those perfect. But Three the spin yards doesn't different really in separation between those two. Yeah. Yeah. Less than 10 yards from our, our average carry. Very, very consistent, especially on those misses as yeah. well. All right, well, let's bring up, let's go, go MC here. Let's do it. Yeah, immediately I notice how much smaller this club yeah. head is. Yeah, MC here. Yeah, it's just shorter, especially heel to toe. That blade length is a lot shorter. Right. Good swing. Already notice the feel is softer. I would definitely say different sound just back here as well. Yeah. God, that's an ideal golf shot. That might be a directly on the center line. Yeah, we'll take 100 of those to go. <laughs> There's kind of a fat one. A little heavy. All right, so a little bit more variance, right. which we would expect. Again, this is maybe a little bit more of a chunker than, than the last one, but. It's gonna go a little left, but okay. Better there. Definitely quieter sound. Yeah, so that was kind of the, the thin one there too. So I kind of yeah. went my fat and thin shot there. 
Thin one didn't really spin a ton either. Granted, that went left. But. Right. Another kind of, another kind of thin that one. one. A little bit thin on that one too. Okay. That might turn a lot left. Oh, that might be. That kind of what we would expect too, though. More workability from more of a player's iron. Yeah, I just, I, I mean, that's actually, wow. I need to work on my swing. That face to path <laughs> of minus ten is not so good. Let me get one more good one here. Gotcha. I may have corrected too far. Really good strike. Yeah, hit it good. So I think, I mean, you're right. This is going to be a less forgiving club. Right. I want to see though the performance. On like the those miss hits. So there was yeah. there was a couple of misses. I think I had a, like a one two eight there. Yep. Look at that. I feel like the spin very should, very consistent the spin, spin should change there. Right. If you look at I think the the impact. I think that's when I hit thin. Mm -hmm. Um. So that spin should go up a lot, but it really right. didn't. Now I did lose some distance. That's yep. going to be expected. Definitely. Um. I mean, I mean, I guess. What are your thoughts on how it, it, that club performed on the on the miss hits? There's a couple yeah. in there. Yeah. Honestly, I'd say misses were. Pretty good. I, I wouldn't necessarily say that there was a ton of performance drop off. Grant, I wouldn't necessarily expect to see just same results dead out of the center compared to a toe right. or heel miss it or even a heavier or thin shot. Yeah. Really, what I would say is there is kind of a, a best of both worlds here too, where it's really that smaller player's look, but you also yeah. have just a tiny bit of forgiveness to help yeah. you out as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm actually surprised at how consistent the spin was given. Yeah. My strikes were kind of, I mean, I had a 128 and I had a 140 and everything in between. Right. So, And then kind of across that, compared to our 770, one degree stronger loft, definitely saw a little bit more spin yeah. um, in terms of carry, as we kind of alluded to as well, slightly shorter carry, slightly shorter total distance. Interesting to see that launch was very similar, if anything, slightly yeah. lower with the MC. Again, could just be strike related, the group of yeah. shots that we took as well too. Um, but definitely a takeaway there would be that this is definitely for your guy who needs a little bit more spin right. and definitely strikes it out of the center more consistently. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, and then moving into the blade, that's going to be someone even more. Right, more and more prominent. Face. This I can tell the top line's thinner yep. than the MC. I think the blade length is the same, but the, Pretty top, similar line, blade length. the top line is a little thinner. Gotcha. So you can definitely see that difference. There's the fat one to start off. Okay. Still higher spin, though. Yeah, see the spin. Definitely. Yeah. Fifty mid five thousand seems to be the kind of the the money spot right now for for me. Good swing, really good swing. Yeah. Ooh, that spin did go up a little bit. Noticeably more spin, right? Yeah. Man, did that sound good? Yep, I hit that one perfect. Yep. Coming from the MC, what's your initial thought on feel? I think it's it's. I'm feeling it's pretty similar. I don't yeah. notice a bunch of differences. Um, I don't know if you hear anything audio-wise. I don't really yeah. feel much of a difference. To be honest, I can't hear a ton. To me, it just sounds solid. Could, yeah. again, just be the group of strikes. I haven't really hit one bad yet by any means. Yeah. I mean, that, I hit that first one a little fat, but then the next two I hit you know, pretty solid. Pretty darn good. I'm curious. Maybe that spin is a little bit higher with this club, though. Mm -hmm. We'll see, because I've... The last couple have been over 6,000. That one's closer to 6. 58, yep. Yeah, it seems like the spin might be a little bit higher with the MB. Definitely higher spin. Interesting. Yeah, a good swing. Slightly, ever so slightly fat, but I got over 6,000 spins. So Definitely. Not like you could tell. The thing that kind of intrigues me here is these ball flights were actually on the higher side too, which looking back to the previous generation MB, compared yeah. to like other blades that you see from other manufacturers, I tended to see that older model MB come out a little flatter in terms okay. of trajectory. I'd say spin was typically on the higher side still, but to me it's interesting to see that the landing angle for this MB is even higher than we were with MC or 770. Yeah. Interesting. Uh -huh. And really, MB, MC, granted same lofts, very similar. Again, reason where maybe you could combo set there, but even just difference in performance between two seven irons of the same loft within even the same brand, and we see differences in carry, differences in total, yeah, and some differences in forgiveness levels between yeah, the two. Yeah, it definitely looks as well. like they've packed a little bit more spin in this MB model yeah. um, to help I me mean, again. There's players out there looking for a 
an iron that is workable that they can control. Right. Get, need more spin to do that. And Absolutely. so that's probably what they're doing here at the P7MB. So definitely, definitely see that. And I think that's something to take away from, right. from this brief test here. Um, and then again, P770, we kind of expected to spin the lowest. Right. So you kind of have their progression that we sort of anticipated. Absolutely. With those three irons. Yep. Of, and like we mentioned, the, the combo set certainly is a possibility if you're yeah. looking for I, all three of I them. I think this almost gives it more reason to why it would be a three club re release or kind of yeah. why they came out together because the progression between them honestly is very, very similar going from a 770 to an MC and an MC to an MB. Right. Like the progression there is very, very, I guess, consistent between the models. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, this is some pretty darn good data, but let's let's kind of wrap it up, and then yeah. we'll I'll ask you that that all important question: of who these are for, and we'll kind right. of help golfers with with that before we go here. Definitely. All right, so Cameron, testing complete there of the 2023 P7 series irons, all three models. Um, we talked a little bit about the data, but let's just kind of quickly review some of the, the main takeaways. So right. um, we've got the data up on the screen there, but any, again, the main takeaways that you had from initial testing there? Yeah, biggest things that I noticed, definitely more of an explosive package with that 770. We yeah. saw more ball speed, more efficiency. Um, from a distance perspective, we definitely saw a little bit more distance there yeah. too, both on average as well as kind of our high side numbers yeah. when you kind of wanted to step on one or hit one a little bit harder. We definitely saw a little bit more out of that one. Uh, you kind of commented on feel as well, where it yeah. almost felt a little more explosive. Right, right. Audibly yeah. kind of hearing you hit some shots too, it sounded to me like it was a little firmer and like it had a little more speed off yeah. the face as well. Um, as we kind of talked about, kind of progression of three, these three models moving into the MC from the 770, saw a little bit more spin yeah. due to that uh, kind of combination of more traditional loft at 34 yeah. degrees instead of 33. Also that more kind of player shape, yeah. smaller blade length, thinner top line, which you commented on as well. Really, in terms of like a numbers perspective, we saw a couple hundred RPMs more spin, mm -hmm. slightly less distance. Again, a lot of that to me would be due to the loft structure of them. Yeah. Definitely some technology differences in there as well too, which probably equates more to feel and, and yeah. kind of uh, sound differences for us as well. Mm -hmm. And then MB, kind of your, your really small one, again, taking it to another level even, yeah. where we definitely saw a jump in spin. Um, distance wise, kind of similar picture there, where carry and total drop off just a little bit but definitely shows more playability where you have that spin and you have the higher ball flight coming into the greens as well right. too. Right, and I, I guess I really noticed that that spin difference from P7MB to P7MC, they're the same loft, right. but it just seemed like I was able to get over 6,000 a few times with yeah. the P7MB, um, which I really, I don't think I even did once with the P7MC. Right. So I think that's something to note for players looking for one of these irons. But um, speaking of those players, so yeah. Uh, these will be in the fitting bay all 2023 here yep. at Second Swing Stores. You'll be fitting golfers into these me almost daily right so talk to me about let's start with p770 kind of go up just kind of give some notes on the type of player that will best fit into the 770 yeah p7 mc and then p7 mb yeah so i would say all three of these really kind of cater to your better player in a sense yeah it's definitely more so how much help you want is kind right, of how i right. would put it between these 770 being your more forgiving one of the three yeah still again that players look where it's shorter blade length thinner top line mm. not necessarily a super clunky or big looking right. head but it's gonna be great for the player who wants that height and trajectory, similar yeah. to what we saw versus our previous model, yeah. as well as kind of some forgiveness on those off-center mm -hmm. strikes as well too, because that's something we even highlighted a little bit, having a couple miss hits in there, performance didn't really change a ton. Even mm -hmm. consistency right. of spin is interesting to see where we caught a couple heavy, caught a couple thin, and spin really did stay very consistent. Mm -hmm. So I think this is almost best of both worlds between yeah. kind of the player's iron where it looks really good, but you yep. still have some technology and some right. performance packed in there as well too. Right, They're kind of like a, a players, players distance iron, right? right? It's a combination of both. Exactly. Uh, and then the, the MC, you kind of get into that. Again, it's very different than the P770. Yep. You get a uh, completely forged, uh, you know, club head, right. but there is that cavity in there for some forgiveness. Yep. So this one definitely going to cater more to the guy who's, or player who's looking for that soft feel. Mm -hmm. um, definitely softer than the 770 based on your field testing yeah. as well as just sound back yeah. here as well. Um, definitely your smaller profile as well. So for the player who really likes to look at down, uh, look down at something that's on the smaller side. Yeah. Other thing we noticed here was more workability with your, yeah. your MC compared to the 770 as well, just due to more than likely shape, size of the head yeah. that kind of offers that more workability for yeah. the better player. Good and bad in a sense for a player who right. just wants to hit straight shots. Yep. Maybe 770 is a better option because mm -hmm. it's a little more forgiving. MC, if you want a little more workability, yeah. could definitely fit that as well. And then definitely for the player who again needs a little bit more spin 
compared to your typical right. 770 yeah. player as There's, well. Maybe that center of gravity is just a little bit maybe raised compared to the 770, right. so that kind of more workable. But then, of course, P7MB, yep. highest spinning, the, yep. you know, really the most elite ball strikers. Yep. Play that one. Your full blade, definitely going to be a player who, similar to, to kind of a lot of the guys that come in here, your better players, where really you can give them anything and they're going to hit it great. Right. But look and feel is going to be big with those. Yep. It's not necessarily going to be a case of like we said with all these, really, a distance contest, trying to hit it as far as possible. Right. More so, what playability does it offer you? How does it yep. influence your ability to land and stop shots on the green? And how does it influence workability of the golf right. ball, too? Because especially if we're looking at these two models, your MC and MB, that's a big talking right. point for sure. And I imagine the players, too, are going to, when they're getting fit, they're probably like, I want to be able to know if I can hit my cut or right. my draw. They're right. probably going to try both, actually, Definitely. in the fitting base. So that's something that, with these two clubs especially, you'll be able to do maybe not as much as right. the P770. So uh, some some really good stuff here, and I think we're really excited about these irons because yeah. they the previous models killed it, mm -hmm. and we have really no reason to expect otherwise with right. these three here. So golfers, if you're interested in the new TaylorMade 2023 P7 Series irons, that's a P770, P7MC, and the P7MB, make sure you schedule your fitting at Second Swing either in store with a fitter like Cameron, or you can of course do the online fitting consultation, maybe over the phone with one of our experts. We'll take care of you, get you a better iron set for your game and you'll play better golf. So Cameron, thanks for all your insight today. Really good stuff. And again, very excited about these tailor-made irons. Absolutely, should, uh, should be a good start into 2023.